Hi guys, so probably gonna be extremely awkward in front of the camera right now because it's been maybe almost three years since I've filmed a video and nothing that I have to update on is easy to talk about whatsoever. Um, so you guys know I made a video in 2015 about my 17 week miscarriage with my daughter Zoe um it's now December 2018 so it's almost actually three and a half years later um and a lot has happened a lot has happened I'm going to make separate videos more in depth about the things that have happened um just to kind of bring you guys up to speed in 2016 I had a 24 week delivery with my son Isaac and almost two months later he passed away and then a year later on Isaac's first birthday I had a seven week miscarriage um so here we are now a year later after that miscarriage two years since Isaac and three years since Zoe and I finally feel like the time is right to start talking about my story and everything that I've been through and what I've learned and what I haven't learned and just everything honestly I have suffered anxiety. I've suffered this one piece of hair is driving me crazy. I apologize, guys. I've suffered anxiety, depression, um, PTSD. Being in a hospital and hearing any of the sounds just is an instant trigger for me. And I can't do it at all. Um, where me and my girls are now. Um, just like I'm going to kind of just make separate videos in depth about each thing that has happened but I kind of just wanted to make a comeback video I guess you could say um just to kind of explain where I've been and why I've been so absent um yeah so a lot I didn't even really start talking about anything and I can already feel myself getting super emotional um so this time around I'm kind of just gonna take things one at a time and and talk about them as I'm ready but still as my previous videos I want women out there to know that you guys are not alone and I know that now more than ever I myself some of my super close friends have had the unfortunate experience of suffering loss and while it's something that you never want to go through as a parent my days are a little bit easier to to get by knowing that I'm not alone and knowing that I have someone or a few people that I can reach out to and know the pain that I feel in my heart the emptiness that's there all whilst I'm still trying to be a super strong mom for the two girls that I have So here I am, three years later. And hopefully I can get back into making these videos again and telling my story. Sorry that this video was kind of all over the place. Um, again, it's been three years and there's a lot that's happened. And I don't really know how to talk in front of the camera anymore, so I'm just going to try and 
when the time is right, just pick it up and start talking again. I appreciate everyone's support in these times more than you guys know. Thank you guys.